right. Uh, pardon me for my hesitation, but I am filling in at the last minute for our absent chair and vice chair. So I'm going to ask Sue to call the roll. Sue, Commissioner Dodson. Commissioner Ocon. Here. Commissioner Dodson. Here. Commissioner Engel. Absent. Commissioner Graham Hudak. Here. Commissioner Green. Absent. Commissioner Perkins. Absent. And Commissioner Zuber. Here. Oh, yes, that's me next. <laughs> All right. Um, can, do we have a, a motion to approve the agenda? Oh, I'm sorry. Let's talk about the minutes from last month. Do I move to, to approve the, agenda, uh, the minutes from last meeting. All right. Commissioner Second. Oaken and Commissioner Graham Hudak seconds. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. We're going to go with aye. Um, and then we have to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. Okay. Commissioner Ocon moves to approve and Commissioner Dotson seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. So we have one item of new business, a site plan review or final site plan approval. Jeff, can you tell us about this? Yes, this is a final site plan for a Concord Park. Uh, this is actually part of a consent agreement uh, along with some other property that was originally part of Cherry Hill Village. So uh, Lombardo Homes is, is buying this from the current owner of the property and will be developing it in phases over the next few years. Uh, the project consists of 152 units uh, on 55.10 acres. These are 60 foot wide lots. Uh, the consent agreement actually called for either 50 or 60 foot wide lots and they opted to do 60 foot lots uh, on here. Uh, the project has primary access from Cherry Hill Road at Ridge Road South with secondary access to Napier Road. Uh, modifications to the existing traffic signal will be made resulting in a full intersection at this point at uh, Cherry Hill South or uh, Ridge Road South and Cherry Hill. Uh, the first construction, first phase of construction, even though they'll be kind of platting it all at one time, uh, will be the kind of the 20 lots on the east side, uh, just to the west of the uh, headwaters of the Rouge or uh, the, of the creek there. You see kind of in between where the human services building is, uh, there's a branch of the Rouge that runs off to the east. And uh, so the first 20 lots will be off of the uh, Concord Lane. Uh, going up to Bailey's Landing and with the cul-de-sac there will be the first phase. Uh, this pr project is consistent with a consent agreement approved by the board uh, several years ago and they had a certain amount of time with which to bring a final site plan in and they've met that guideline and we would recommend approval of the final site plan at this time. They've got all of their county uh, permits for uh, construction of all the work in the right-of-way, all their utility permits, stormwater permits and so forth so they're ready to start construction. Uh, the project sponsors are here. Uh, we've got uh, Representative Lombardo Holmes and uh, Chris Cousineau and, uh, and uh, Representative Atwell uh, is here tonight to ask any, answer any questions you have uh, regarding the engineering. So I'll turn it over to them. So Chris. <laughs> Good evening, Chris Cousineau representing the applicant Lombardo Homes. Uh, as Mr. Goulet stated, we do have this property under contract and as part of our due diligence is to work through the, the site planning process. Uh, we have received all of our permits uh, or all of our approvals. Uh, we just now need to pull the, the final permits for the construction of the site. Um, it's a project that we're looking forward to developing. We're looking to develop the first phase uh, later on this year uh, to be able to bring on new lots uh, sometime next year, um, probably about mid mid June of next year. Um, again, we're excited to be here and available for any questions, comments. Okay. So, does this connect to any of the paths, the bike paths that we have, or how far away is? The no, course? sir. No, ma'am. It's kind of separated by the ITC corridor to the north. Uh, I mean, it'll ultimately connect uh, to a sidewalk system in Cherry Hill Road when they put the sidewalk, uh, and, and you know, it'll and they'll have a crosswalk there at the intersection, 
and they'll connect up to the village uh, there in front of the dentist office, they'll make a connection. So people will be able to get access to the bike pass, but it doesn't directly access the bike pass. So, so they'd have to cross Cherry Hill Road then to get to the bike path or? Okay. Well, all of the bike paths are on the, basically east of, of Ridge Road or, yeah, so in order to get to the bike pass, you're gonna have to travel down Cherry Hill on the, on the surface sidewalks to get to the north-south bike path system. Is that a, a bridge that's going across the, is that a tree line there, or that's just a, that's basically cut through the tree line then? Which and they'll have to bring a culvert over the, uh, that branch of the Rouge there going north into the subdivision. The original planned crossing on this when it was originally Cherry Hill Village was to bring uh, the east-west road that goes by the Human Services Building <coughs> Uh, over across that direction, they decided they wanted to come in from Cherry Hill Road rather than come in from Ridge Road at an intersection point. So from a traffic standpoint, that probably makes more sense because it's a traffic controlled point rather than coming out uh, in, a, in a mid block with, you know, on Ridge Road where the curve is. So. so who takes care of, like, if you look at down the curve and you see behind some of the units, it's, um, it's basically lawn it looks like the lots go back to a certain point and then it's just grass. Who takes care of that part of it? Be part of the subdivision common area. So they do have some path systems that they have, you know, Anne Marie in through here that provide some paths through their open space area. Um, so that's, you know, part of their park areas. They've got a, you know, a more manicured park in between uh, these lots uh, here in the middle in phase one and two. But yeah, the, in the, here, they, they didn't want to push the houses all the way up to the ITC boundary, so they wanted to provide you know, some uh, distance from the backs of the houses to the power lines. Unfenced community also, they're not allowed to have fences in the back? Um, that's correct. Well, it's, well, they are allowed to have fences because it's part of Cherry Hill Village, and unless they deed restrict it, I don't think you've deed restricted fences not, correctly. No. Yeah, so they will be able to have fences in here. Uh, all, all the way on the eastern side of the, the property. Oh, all the way over oh, here. Yes, yes. And we're tying it, there's an existing uh, regional detention basin to the south of Cherry Hill that, um, that we're tying into as well. Yeah, most of the storm will go into River's Edge storm system to the south. How are you going to get to it from the subdivision? the backyard of that house or are you having a separate path or? There, there's an existing stub road or a stub for the sanitary sewer that is, did I say sanitary? Uh, storm, excuse me, storm sewer uh, outlet that is provided across Cherry Hill Road to, to our property that we'll be tying into. That was originally planned for by the original Cherry Hill Village developer that, that storm system there in River's Edge was sized to take in everything in this area. They have to make sure that they've got access to it to get down there in case they have to. There's access around the pond already. There's access around the pond already. There are cross access agreements when the original development was developed to the south that contemplated this property tying into that detention basin. But there's physical access around the pond there. There's a path around the pond for access for maintenance also. It's the entry to the park, yeah. That's, there's a sidewalk that runs through there with a, kind of a turnaround there with some benches. So they pulled that in so you know, people could walk partway into the park so that people buying lots 23 and 24 will know that there's gonna be people going through there be, besides their houses to get back to the, <laughs> since this park is kind of a buried park and behind the lots. Uh, so we're uh, building right now in Sheldon Estates, a uh, very similar comparable product, um, certainly meeting the, the brick requirements, uh, roughly uh, 2,000 square feet up to 2,900 square feet. Um, predominantly we're seeing colonials. Uh, we do sell ranches, but a uh, majority of our buyers are, are colonial buyers.
asked all the questions that I could think of too. Except, well, there is one question. Why is the one lot up at the top and I can't read the number, why is that one green and the rest of them are sort of yellow green against the park? Kind of, is it 27 or something? Oh yeah, it looks like 27, 26 or 27. I can't read that. Yeah, up, 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 abutting the open space on the top. I can't read oh, that. The fourth one over. Uh, yeah, no, 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 up higher on, of the on the other side. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Just wondered if there was some significance. Okay. I'd like to move for a motion if that's all right. Please do. All right. I move to recommend approval of the final site plan for Concord Park Site Condominium on tax parcel 071-99-0002-710, subject to the receipt of all the outside agency permits and financial assurance prior to review and approval of the Township Board. Second. So, okay, we have a motion by Commissioner Ocon and support by Commissioner Dodson. Um, Commissioner Dodson, can you call the vote? Commissioner O'Conn? Oh, yes. 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 <coughs> yes. Green and uh, other people, Angle, Green, and Fulton Correct. And what's your vote? You? Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. It's Thank unanimous. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. All right. So we have an item that we need to refer to staff. Fellow, Fellows Creek Estates number two. And do we need to vote on that? Move it generally. Uh, okay, I will move it generally. All eyes. Yeah. Okay. And we need to set a public hearing for November 6th for Bickford of Canton Minor PDD. Uh, group all that in a motion and, okay. and vote by eyes. Could I have a motion to uh, group all those items together, please? You've got the motion. <laughs> Got the motion. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> very good. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, anything to add to the agenda? No, ma'am. Just a reminder that we do have two meetings in November, the regular meeting the first Monday in November, which I think is the 4th or, or the 6th. Is the sixth. And, then the, uh, and then the second meeting in November will be set aside for the public hearings for the comprehensive plan amendments. So make Thank sure. You. Public hearing, and yeah, and you guys will make a decision. Yeah, I mean, basically, these are the these are the uh, the amendments that you've asked us to move forward on. So, so, so you guys will be adopting the plan amendments if you feel that everything's okay. And then, and then once once you guys adopt the amendments, then they'll be transmitted to the township board for acceptance. So. Okay. Okay. Very good. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Mark this down. Well okay. Done. 14, 14 minutes. He was a good actor.